Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, January 3rd. It's the second Sunday after Christmas. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 67, Colossians 3, verse 12 to 17, and a canticle from Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verse 1 through 6. Please join me in singing verse 4 of Once in Royal David's City. For he is our lifelong pattern, daily when on earth he grew. He was tempted, scorned, rejected, tears and smiles like us he knew. Thus he feels for all our sadness, and he shares in all our gladness. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Baker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we confess that we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us. Alleluia. Psalm 67, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us, that your way may be known upon the earth, and your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise you, O God, let all the people praise you. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and you, our God, shall bless us. You shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us. Alleluia. A lesson from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 12. As God's chosen, holy, and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day, and we thank you for all the blessings that you have granted us. 
O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves and our families and friends, the church, and all people. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let's recite the canticle together. Alleluia, have mercy upon us, O God of all, and look at us. Strike fear into all the nations that do not seek you. Lift your hand against the corrupt, and let them see your power. As they saw your holiness displayed in us, so let us see your strength displayed among them. And let them know, as we have known, that there is no other God but only you. Show us new signs and miracles, and glorify your mighty hand and right arm that they may demonstrate your wondrous works. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.